Hello kids, I'm so happy to see you. You know what? We're going to learn about animal coverings. So animals have coverings so they can take care of themselves. Okay? And all of them have different kinds of uh, coverings. So stay tuned if you want to learn more about animal coverings. Let's go. Okay, kiddos, let's make connections. Let's work our minds and make connections. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. It's time to match the word with the picture. These animals that we have in this picture are animals that have another kind of covering. Look at their covering. What do you think it is? It is called shell. It is a shell, like this one here. This is a shell, this is a shell, and this is a shell. They cover themselves with shell. And what animals can we see here? We have a, a, sea, tur a sea turtle, a snail, and a land turtle. Okay, see the difference between the sea turtle and the land turtle? Can you see the difference there? Okay, with the land turtle, that is this one here, we can see that he has legs. On the other side, the sea turtle has flippers so he can swim. One, he, the, the, the sea turtle swims and the land turtle walks. Okay? And the shell slitters. And they are protected with a shell. Okay, so let's read this word here. What word is that? Let's read it. Land turtle. So which is the land turtle? All right. The land turtle is this one. That's the turtle that walks. Okay. Let's read this one here. What does it say? Sea turtle. Okay, and this sea turtle is this one here. Okay, and the sea turtle 
swims. Okay, and he has slippers, uh, uh, flippers, and he has a shell to protect himself. And what is the other word? What is this animal? Snail. The snail is this animal right here. And he also has a shell to protect himself. Okay, good job. What kind of covering do they have? Do they have a shell? Do they have scales? No, right? They have feathers. They have feathers. And these are feathers. These are feathers and these are feathers. Okay? So these animals have feathers. Let's look at this word. What is that? A seagull. This is a seagull. All right? That animal that looks like a bird or is a bird, it's called a seagull. And we have this one here. What is this? A flamingo. And flamingos are these ones over here. Yeah, they have long legs. Right. And the other one. What is this? A penguin. Yeah, a penguin. And this, my friend, is a penguin. All right. And they all have what kind of covering? Feathers. Yeah, they have feathers. Good job. Wow. Let's look at these animals. They have Spines. They have spines. Look at this one. This animal is called a porcupine. And he has spines. And this one also has perky, perky spines. And it, this one lives under the sea. And he's called a sea urchin. And this one has spines too. And this one's called a blowfish or puffer fish. A blowfish. See, you blow it. And then he comes like that. He, he looks like a little bull. And then... We have this animal here that we call him an hedgehog. So they all have spines. They cover themselves with spines. Okay, and they use those spines to protect themselves. All right, so now we're going to match the picture with the word, okay? So, we're going to find this animal and this and the words. So, we have, this one says blowfish. Is that a blowfish? No, right? Is that one a sea urchin? No. Is he an hedgehog? No. Is he a porcupine? Yeah, he's a porcupine. So, we're going to make a line and match this word, porcupine, with the picture porcupine so that they go together, right? Because this is a group of the animals with spines. Okay, now let's go to the next 
animal. What is that? A sea urchin. Okay. Is that a sea urchin? No. Is this a sea urchin? Sea urchin. Is that a sea urchin? Yeah. So we're going to make a line and we're going to match this picture with its word. Okay? Because that is a sea urchin. Good job. Now, let's go with the, ne the next picture. What is that? Uh huh. Is that an edge hog or a blowfish? Okay, good. A blowfish. So we match this, we make a line, and then we match them together. Okay? Now, this one. What's the name of this one? Who remembers? That's an edge hog. Yeah, an edge hog goes from here to here. Good. So remember, these are the animals that have spines. Let's look at these animals. This is another type of covering. Do they have scales? No, right? Do they have shells? A shell? No. Do they have spines? No. They have fur. So their skin is with a fur. Yeah, like your teddy bear or like your doggy that has a fur, that is a fur, okay? That's the skin, and they protect themselves with that. They protect themselves from the sun. They protect themselves from water, germs, or any kind of things that can ha harm their, them. Okay, so these animals have fur. Fur. All right, and what animals have fur, for example? What is this animal? A bear, the rabbit has fur, and the dog has a fur. Okay, so let's find the words that match with the picture, okay? So what is this? What does it say there? Bear. So this one goes right here with bear. With the bear. That's right. Bear with bear. What what does it say there? Dog. Right. Is this a dog? No. Is this a dog? Yeah, that's a dog. And the last one is a rat. That's correct. And we have a rabbit right there. Good job. Oh, wow. Look at these animals. These animals have another kind of covering. And it is called an armor. Armor. An armor. This is an armor. The skin is protected. And this is an armor. And this one here is an armor. Yeah, it's very hard. It's like a shell covering. And it's very, very hard. And it protects them from all kind of dangers. All right, so this is called an armor. Armor. So we have this animal here is called a pangolin. So let's look for the word pangolin. Is this a pangolin? 
Yes or no? No, right. Is this a pangolin? No. Is this a pangolin? Yeah, right on. This is a pangolin. And that goes right here. And our second animal in our armor list. What is that? A crab. Remember that we saw crabs? Yeah, and they have a very hard armor. And is this a crab? Or is this a crab? Yeah, that's a crab. Very good. So crab goes with crab. And this is a very tiny, tiny, tiny bug animal. And its name is a ladybug. Okay, and he loves eating leaves. And we have a ladybug right here. Yeah. So ladybug goes with ladybug. There you go. So that's for our, our armor animals. Yeah. Oh, whoa. These animals are so strange. Yeah, and they have another kind of covering. And in this case, is skin. That's why they have skin, like you and me. We have skin. So, I'm going to present to you the first one. And this one is a very strange cat. And it's a sphinx cat. So he has skin. All right? He does not have fur because he's bald. And he doesn't have scales or spines or feathers. Okay, he has skin, and his name is Finscat. And this dog is really strange, too. He doesn't have any fur, just a little in his head and his tail, but no more. And it's called a Mexican hairless dog. Mexican hairless dog because there's no hair there <laughs> and this guy here he's bald he has no hair so what he has is skin like you and me we have lots of skin all over so this man is a bald man and he just has skin okay so this we are covered with skin okay so let's look at this word here this is a bald man and does it go here or does it go here does it go here yes the bald man goes right here the Sphinx cat, does it go here? Or does it go here? Yeah. The Sphinx cat goes right there. And the Mexican hairless dog? It's right here. This is the Mexican hairless dog. Good job. Time to read a book. It's time to read a book. It's time to read a book, book, book. It's time for me to read a book. Yeah, good. Animal coverings. Written by Kira Fried. Sorry. 
snake, fish, butterfly. We have scales. Seagull, flamingo, and penguin. We have feathers. Land turtle. Sea turtle. Snail. We have shells. Hedgehog, porcupine, blowfish, sea ocean. We have spines. Pangolin, ladybug, crab. We have armor. Dog, bear, rabbit. We have fur. We have hair. This is hair. Mexican hairless dog. Bold men, fix cat. We just have skin. Now it's time for you to read it. Take your time and read word by word. Use your finger. Okay, so. You're going to start reading from left to right. The bird goes over the tree. Good. Now it's your turn to read.
You're great. Now it's time for you to remember what happened in the book. What happened? What did it say here? Hmm. Let's think. He put on his belt. Okay. Good job. You have to remember what happened in the book. It's time to remember, guys. Let's. We have scales. We have feathers. We have shell. We have spines. We have armor. We have fur. We have hair. We have skin. Smart keto. You learned about animal coverings? Wow, it was amazing. Now you know that animals have different kinds of coverings, like you, like your dog or your cat, or the turtle or the little fish that's under the water. So now you know much, much more. I hope you liked it and I hope you had lots of fun. Now you're going to discover many things when you see them and ask yourself, hmm, what kind of covering does he have and why does he have that covering? Mm -hmm. All right. Bye-bye. I hope you learned a lot. Bye.